Hi, today I want to tell you a bit about what I study, which is a process called RNA interference or RNAi. And it's a way um, of controlling the levels of various proteins in your cells. So you might have heard of the central dogma where you have a gene that's written in DNA. And then this is like the original copy of the instructions for making that protein. But you don't want to mess with that original copy because it's really important. And if you mess it up, you could have a bunch of problems later on because it'll get passed on. So what you do instead is you make a messenger RNA copy or an mRNA, and that's made in a process called transcription. And by making lots of this mRNA or a little of this mRNA, you can regulate how much of the protein that gets made from it. And so how the protein gets made from it is that in a process called translation, that mRNA is used by protein-making complexes called ribosomes. And they follow the instructions in that mRNA to make the corresponding protein, which is made up of amino acids, which are like the protein letters. So you can see in this scenario that the amount of the protein that gets made is dependent on the amount of mRNA that's present, as well as, as well as some other factors, but we won't get into those because what I wanna tell you about is a process that actually reduces the levels of the um, various mRNAs in a sequence specific manner so it can directly downregulate specific target messenger RNAs. Um, and so to do, it does this using this um, type of RNA called small RNA. So it turns out that not all genes make protein. So some genes um, instead make functional RNAs, which function in their RNA form, and they're more than just a go-between between the DNA and the protein. So the kind that I study are called small RNAs or sRNAs, and the main type I'm gonna talk about is microRNA. Um, there's also something called small interfering RNA or siRNA. Um, this, these come from outside or what we call exogenous sources. And so insects and plants and other invertebrates, they use um, siRNA as an antiviral defense mechanism. But we have more evolved more complex immune systems. So our RNAi machinery um, uses microRNA most of the time. But if we introduce siRNA as in the lab, if we want to, as an experimental tool to knock down the amounts of various um, protein that gets made, or we want to, or we even use it therapeutically, um, there are a couple therapies like that. So we can use siRNA because siRNA and microRNA, they use the same um, pathway um, for most of it. And so these small RNAs, which are about 20 nucleotides long, they, get, um, they bind to this protein called argonaut or ego, and ego uses them as guides to find um, target messenger RNAs that contain sequence complementarity, at least to um, this, the beginning part of the microRNA, which we call the seed sequence. So there's like um, six to eight nucleotides long that you have to have like a perfect match in that region um, most of the time. Um, and then the target can also have different amounts of complementarity outside of that seed region, as we'll see in a minute. Um, but upon binding, um, you get translational inhibition, mRNA degradation, and so basically you just get a decrease in the amount of protein that gets made from that specific uh, messenger RNA. Um, so in a little more detail, microRNA gets um, transcribed in the nucleus like a normal um, gene would, except that instead of having this messenger RNA get made, you have this long um, transcript that folds up into this weird um, long hairpin thingy, which we call primary microRNA or pri-miRNA. Um, and this binds to a complex called microprocessor, which chops it into um, a shorter but still pretty long hairpin-y thing, which gets loaded into um, the cytoplasm. And here it needs to get processed before it can enter argonaut, so it goes to a protein called dicer. This is also where you can have your siRNA precursors come in. So dicer serves as a sort of molecular ruler and scissors in one, so it's going to measure that duplex 
and um, that measure that hairpin or that duplex and cut it into a size that Ego likes. And so it's about 20 nucleotides long and has these overhanging ends. And that gets loaded into Argonaut to form the pre RNA induced silencing complex or pre risk. So, as I was telling you about before, the microRNA um, or the siRNA, it has that sequence that is going to match the um, target messenger RNAs that it wants to downregulate. Uh, but right now, that sequence is hidden by the second strand of the RNA duplex or the passenger strand. So, Ego has to eject that, and now you get the mature risk or um, the, core, the mature core risk. Um, and then it goes and binds to a target. And so what happens next depends in part on the amount of complementarity you have between the guide and the target and in part on the Argonaut protein. And so humans have four Ego proteins and Ego2 is capable of slicing fully complementary targets like you'd see with siRNA. Um, and so this exposes raw ends of the RNA for exonuclease, um, so RNA chewers can um, find those raw ends and just chew that RNA away and degrade it. Um, and so then protein can't get made from it. Um, with microRNA, however, at least um, for mammalian microRNA, you only have partial complementarity. So Argonaut can't slice that um, target, even if it's Ego2. Um, so it calls for help and it um, binds to this long scaffolding protein called GW182, and that brings in decapping and deadenylation complexes that remove those protective ends from the mRNA, and then they can get chewed away. And you can also get um, translational inhibition and sequestration, and so all of these are leading to target repression, um, and at the heart of all of them is Argonaut, and so Argonaut is regulating the levels of all of these different, um, all of these different mRNAs. But how is Argonaut itself regulated? This isn't as well understood, and that's what I've been studying these last few years. I can't tell you much more about it right now because it's not published yet, but as soon as it is, I'll be sure to tell you all.